What I'd like to talk about today is translations. So there's a couple ways to do translations with AI. I'm going to show you the cheapest one because it's going to be free, though it is a little slower, but I'm all about accessibility and I'm all about, you know, you don't have to have a subscription to every single service. I have a few subscriptions. I like the ones that I have, but I'm going to show you a way that you don't need to have yet another subscription. You don't need to put more money out because if you want to, you know, put a book out in German or put a book out in French or Italian so that you tap into those other markets, you should be able to without spending hundreds of dollars per book. And that's not even with, you know, a human translator. That's some of the AI prices that I've seen. And those programs are fantastic, I'm sure. However, I'm going to show you the free way. So what I have here is a Google Docs of the original book. This is unedited. This is the one that we created where it was the 30K fantasy. And then it ended up being, you know, it was supposed to be in 90 minutes. It ended up being in three hours because I cut 10 chapters. And yeah, that video turned out to be a little long, but what we ended up in the end is very fun. I also have Claude. This is Claude through Anthropic. This is Claude's maker. It's their home. So we're going to be using 3.5 Sonnet. I have the free plan. So all we need is just you go to Anthropic and then you just sign in. I sign in with Google. I have the other book here that I'm going to be putting the translation in. So it's going to go left to right and then we're also going to sometimes it gives us like little bits at the front and little bits at the end of do you want me to do the rest of the chapter or sure i'd be happy to translate that for you i don't want that in the final book so let's get rid of that but since i don't speak german we're gonna have to put that in here to be able to see what it is and that's just google translate so let me show you what i mean I also don't want to do the whole chapter just in case it ends up being that, you know, it cuts itself off because the window that Claude is going to give us is not that big and I don't want it to cut off and not know where it is because of course I don't speak this language. I don't speak it. I don't read it. I mean, my experience with German is very, very limited. It's limited to like a few rock songs, essentially and what I've seen in documentaries. So very, very little experience there. I could not tell you if any of it's correct. So what I like to do is I like to do a single page at a time. So like this page, it ends on basically a good spot. And then it goes on to here. We're going to do this page separately. This page again ends fine. This page ends fine, but since this page only goes down to there, I'm just going to do that and then this page as one. That way, we're not having a bunch of issues where I don't know what's actually left. If this sentence went on to the next page, I would do this down to where the next natural break is, so the next natural paragraph. I'm actually going to disable... No, we can probably leave it for right now. That's pro writing aid. Sometimes I've noticed if the book is very, very long, like say 100,000 words, and you're in docs, sometimes this gets to slow things down a little bit because it's trying to do it all at once. Like if you click on it, it tells you the issues all at once for the entire book. And they'll tell you its improvements. So it's going through a lot at a time and that gets a little complicated and it can slow things down. But we're not dealing with pro writing aid right now. We are dealing with translations. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this down. I'm copying it to right there. These little pop-ups, that's pro writing aid. I'm going to talk to Claude for just a second. This is another one that I did down here.
This line does not always work, I will tell you that, but it's helpful sometimes, and I'll show you what I mean. See, this is it saying, yes, I would be happy to translate your novel into German. Great, even though we told it, hey, please don't do that. Please just talk to me in English because I'm not going to understand what you're saying. I just want my actual novella in English or in German. But of course it doesn't know that. This, though, is helpful. So see what I mean? Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. So what we can do here, and then just to show you what I mean, this here. So yes, thank you very much. But this, and then we can do here, see what this means. It should be the title in chapter one. Yep. Exactly. So we want to grab this and this all the way down here. I'm going to pop it here. I'm going to do paste without formatting so that we actually keep the paragraphs as they are. And I'm going to show you the first chapter in this video. Now you will run out of messages with 3.5 and that's why it does take a little longer. This is, I grabbed more than one page, sorry. You will also have a limit for how long the conversation can actually be. So we've already told it what we need. So I'm just going to paste this next part. See, and then this is what you also run into at times. Is if a lot of people are using it, you're on the free version. So, you know, there may be times when you just straight up can't use it. But then you just refresh, you try again. There will be a time when you run out of the actual conversation has gone too long and it tells you that you need to make a new conversation. On a 30k doing every page, you shouldn't run into that issue, but if you were doing something like my last one was 170k, I have not translated it. I don't know if I will. I may. I mean, what does it hurt? It doesn't hurt anything. It's just a long process. So at that point, it would be multiple conversations, but at the same time, you're not actually asking it to keep any of the context, really. You're just saying, hey, I need help translating. We'll pick it up from where we are. So we're here. Here is the chapter translated into German is basically what that says. We do not want to grab that first part. That's why I'm not copying it completely. Grab that, copy that. Plop that right here. So it's not a terrible process. It just takes a while. It would go faster if you're more comfortable with it. If you can just go boom, boom, send. All right, perfect. And you're just going to grab this one. And you can definitely do more than one page if you're comfortable with that. For me, I've had it run. Nope, 
that's what you do when you just copy and paste. For me, I've had it run into where it cuts off and then you're just backtracking and you're wasting your daily messages. Now, of course, this is not the edited version. So yeah, I'm just showing you this as an example. And it's almost done. So I mean, once you get comfortable with it, maybe 10 minutes per chapter of just copy paste, depending on how long your chapters are. And a lot of that's just waiting for the AI to do its thing. And if you have to refresh it all, but this part's not going to be the part that slows you down. The part that slows you down is the fact that you're just going to run out of messages per day. Oh, I could have just done that. Oh, there we go. Like this in the edits, that'll just go away. Aw. That's nice. So there we go. Simple, easy processing of translating that first chapter from English to German of a fantasy novel, well, novella. So it's not hard. It just, like I said, takes a little while. It would help if I knew what any of these words were. But if you've got a human proofreader that knows the language, that's great. If you don't, though, and there are companies who are willing to proofread AI translations out there. Or, I mean, a lot of people are just doing their best and just knowing that the AI does make mistakes, but you put it up there. It's completely up to you on what you want to do. I'm not going to tell you that one way is right and the other way is not. It's what you're comfortable with and it's what you're good with. So... Thank you so much for watching. Give this a try. This, you just need to be able to log in. I just use my Google. And then, yeah, you don't get unlimited messages, but you at least get a bunch. And that's per day. And then this is just Google Docs. That's Anthropic. This is Google Docs. This is Google Translate. Nothing that we did today costs any money at all. So... I hope that if you're looking for translations and looking for a way to do translations, that you think about this process and give this a try. You know, maybe you start with a 10K, because a 10K is not going to take that long. You can probably get that done in, I don't know, an hour, half an hour, 45 minutes, depending on how fast you are. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm going to be putting up some more videos this weekend. I was hoping today, but... Got errands and an appointment, so we'll see what happens. But at the very least, there will be more videos this weekend. We're going to dive into more of the lesbian novella and getting all that into Novel Crafter and then really just playing around with things. So everybody have a really great Friday, great weekend.